All right, so suppose we have a simple random sample size of 81 is obtained from a population and we've got a mean of the population of 77 and a standard deviation of 18. So based off of the sample distribution of X, what is the probability that X is greater than 80.7? So starting off here with question A, choose the correct description of the shape of the sample distribution of X. It's going to be approximately normal, so D. Um, all right, so for these next ones, uh, the population average isn't going to change. It's going to be 77. But we do need to be careful about is the standard deviation because we have a set sample. In this case, it's 81, so it's going to be our standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size, which is 81 in this case. So it's going to be 18 divided by 9 square root of 81, which is equal to 2. So we'll just we'll we'll just use 2. It's going to be the sample minus the uh, mean over the standard deviation minus the sample square root of the sample, but I'm just going to we're just going to use 2 in substitution for this. Just so you know. All right. So for part B, it's going to be equal to um 80.7, this is going to be right tail because we want greater than, minus uh, 77 divided by 2, which is equal to, so I'm just using Wolfram Alpha here, you can use a calculator of your choice, 80.7 minus 77 divided by 2, 1.85, so Z score, I've already got the answer down there, but uh, this will confirm it, showing you how to do it. So we want right tail because everything greater than. So right tail is going to be 0 0.03216. So we round to four decimal places. The six rounds up, so the one becomes a two. So 0 0.0322. All right, same principle for part C. But instead of 80.7, it's going to be 73 minus 77 divided by 2. Um, well, I didn't write all this out, but I showed it on the calculator. All right, so what this ends up being, and then this is left tail because it's less than 73. So Z score of negative two. I don't even know why I need to calculate for that, but whatever. All right, so we round to four decimal places, 0 0.0227, round the five up, that's seven becomes eight. So there's a, it's actually point, it's actually a 2.28% chance that it'll be less than 73 for the population. All right, so then the next one's a little bit more complex because it's two part. For part C, what we do is we find two, two portions and we subtract one from the other. So basically what's going to happen here of our normal distribution is we have 80.7 80, 80 and then we get whatever's here and then we find our 74.2 which is like right here and then we just subtract this from here and then we get our middle our middle amount which is what we need. Alright so we already have I'm going to show you a little shortcut here yeah, I guess they don't have it fully figured out here on the Mac. I'm on a Mac right now, and I guess OneNote doesn't work 100%. Oh, well, still good. Um, we have we don't have less than 80.7, but what we can do, there we go, is we can do 1 minus 0 0.0322, and that will give us the left tail because that's the right tail. The only reason I'm doing that is to save time and then show you a trick how to do that. Otherwise, I'd just do the Z score again and then I would find the left tail and give me the same result. But we still need to find 74.2. So it's just 74.2 minus 77 over 2. Negative 1.4. gives me, I want the left tail in this instance. So we're going to take 
this whole thing here, and then, sorry, it's kind of messy, minus the left tail, which is 0 0.08706. Let's do that really quick. Do the left tail there. Point zero eight zero seven six. And I get my point eight eight seven zero four round to four decimal places, four rounds down, so we end up with our point eight eight seven zero. So it's an eighty eight. 0.7% chance that uh, your sample value will land somewhere between 74.2 and 80.7. So anyway, that's how you do that. I hope this helped you out. Appreciate it, and you have a great day.